In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to fill in your value scale with colored pencil. So in part one, you should have already created your value scale for your four different media. So I'm going to be showing you how to create all different values using a colored pencil. Now I'm using a woodless colored pencil, but a traditional colored pencil, it would be the same technique. So um, the first thing you're going to do is make sure that you have your colored pencil nice and sharp. And please use a hand sharpener for this, never an electric one. Um, now we are going to begin with our lightest value. Now the thing that we want to do when we're doing this is really, really have a lot of control with our pencil. So for your lightest one, you literally want to try to go as light as you possibly can and as even as you possibly can. To really fill in. So I'm barely touching the paper at this point. If you would like to practice on scrap paper before you start, um, you're welcome to. I have some brainstorming scrap paper in that orange box on the windowsill. You can do that now. So you can see that's my lightest value. It's so light you can probably barely see it on this video. Um, now, I would fill in the whole box, but for time's sake, I'm only going to do part of the box because otherwise this will be the longest video of all time. And then I'm gradually, my next one will be slightly darker, but I'm also really trying to keep this even. So this is definitely an exercise in pencil control, okay? <laughs> um, making sure that you're staying nice and light and consistent throughout. And like I said, you would fill the entire box in. So that's my step two. So you can see a difference between the steps. I always say if you look at it and you squint your eyes and you can see a difference between it on your paper, that's how you know there's enough contrast. So now I'm gonna be increasing the pressure, pencil pressure a little bit. Now you'll notice on here, especially as I'm getting to the darker ones, um, you don't really see pencil lines on there, right? You don't see the big strokes on there. Try to have it be sort of an even texture. Um, so this would be my third value. Then I'm gonna go a little bit darker. here remember you would be filling the entire box okay so always checking to make sure there's enough contrast now my medium value I'm gonna start to press with medium pressure so medium value medium pressure so I'm not pressing as hard as I can but I'm definitely getting Trying to get that medium true blue off the color wheel. Your medium value should always be the color that you would see on the color wheel. Okay, now I'm gonna to start to get darker. So I'm just increasing the pressure like maybe 25%. Now also when I'm holding this, you'll notice on my hand my fingers are very close to the tip of the pencil. I'm not holding it all the way up here. Holding it closer down toward the bottom is what allows you to control it and also to press hard without snapping your colorless pencil. I mean your woodless colored pencil. See it's getting darker. Now I'm really pressing pretty hard and it's really important that I'm holding close to the tip of the pencil. So at this point I'm still just doing pure blue. Okay, now I'm going to lightly get a black, and no matter what color you're doing, this is the point where you would start to add a little bit of black. I'm gonna lightly color with my black. Okay, color 
as if it's like the, the same pressure that you did for your medium value. And then I'm going to go back over as hard as I can. tired at this point. Okay, make sure there's enough value, I mean enough difference, contrast between your values. Okay, now for my last one, I'm going to press pretty hard with my black, maybe about 75% of my max pencil pressure, <laughs> and then I'm going to go over it as hard as I can with my blue. So that it's a real nice, dark, deep, dark navy. Okay, and also I would fill in the whole box. So, like I said, whole box, and this would be my entire value scale with colored pencil.